Well, 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 welcome back. Just go around, we're going to take a look at a very obscure, obscure and unique fighter for the Neo GL. And the reason why it's so unique and obscure, because it got passed along in uh, 1994 when a whole slew of fighting games were coming out around that time. And unfortunately, uh, most of the Neo Geo games actually kind of um, overshadowed it anyway, besides the Street Fighters, the Samurai Showdowns, etc. And that game is called Aggressors of Dark Combat. And if you notice by the title screen, the game is made by ADK. Um, what's its focus? Uh, kind of sort of one-on-one -on -one fighting game with a mix of wrestling elements. The backgrounds are kind of like the ring, and it focuses heavily on, um, as you can see, um, grappling or gripping. Um, the fancy fireballs and the super mega special moves, they've been tossed away wayside. This focus is kind of a little bit more on realism, or as real can real be. The thing is, is that the buttons are very similar in the sense of World Heroes using the sensitivity by, you know, tapping it, you're getting a light punch, t um, holding, holding it, and a hard punch. And the joystick moves you up and down around the ring, and the C button uses the uh, jump um, capability. So, yeah. Um, let's just get into it, shall we? Alright, uh, do, 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 do. Alright, I'm gonna pick a very familiar, um, character here, and that's Fuma. If you don't know who Fuma is, Fuma is from the World Heroes, uh, series. Alright, um, the real shitty part about this game is there's no fucking ending. Which is ridiculous. Don't get me wrong, fighting games don't really have the deepest, um, endings. But, for God's sakes, I mean, you could have given some sort of ending, and here it's none. There's not even a last boss, so that kind of sucks, too. But, as you can see at the top, your meter's right there, that's your life bar, and that exists for the um, whole entire uh, match. Rather than, let's say, focusing on, let's say, best two out of three, no, that is your um, life meter, and if you lose that, you're fucked. And like I said, it's most of it's focused on grappling. And it is kind of a pain in the ass to try and get some of these moves out. The control itself is not bad. But it can be a little stiff at times. So it can get kind of frustrating. Um, as you're going to see at the bottom meter, it says crazy. Um, crazy is basically your super mega ultra fucking deathy type of move. Now, I'm unfamiliar. I haven't played this game in eons, so I don't know that shit. So you ain't going to see nothing fancy here. But, you know, it does uh, go off and it does give you kind of an edge. Also, in the backgrounds, you'll notice, um, well, it's they go on, you'll see people walking by who throw items in. Everything from shovels to Molotov cocktails. Which is okay, it's pretty cute and all, but it can get kind of annoying, especially if it's being used on you. But, um, yeah, it's, um... The combinations themselves are okay. The, like I said, it is a Neo Geo game, so the, the uh, computer can get really fucking brutal at times. Um, well, let's see. What are we going to see? Backgrounds? Alright. Uh, you can see that item right down there, the uh, spiked bat. Backgrounds are not bad. I mean, they're not going to really change anything. But they do the job. They give the environments for everything from a desert to the railway, as you see, to street environments. You know, or a lot of urban settings. Um, some nice effects, such as the train scaling out. But, like I said, there's nothing in here that's really s super awesome to say. The sprites are actually pretty big, though. But um, some of the animations are a little awkward. And that can actually fuck up the control a little bit on timing. Even though, for the most part, the special moves can come out. And 
as you can see, the computer can spam the shit out of you. And there is some limited air juggling. Um, what else can be said? Um... It is a strange game. And I believe EGM in 1994 gave it the strange game, like, year of the award. Because it is a break from your traditional fighter. Now, this is a game ADK should have focused on for a sequel. If ADK would have corrected a lot of the issues with the control, some of the stiffness, improved the cast of characters, I think this really could have been an, a mega outstanding game. But having limited movesets, having um, a limited cast of characters, even for that time, kind of hurt that. Especially compared to their own games, especially games like World Heroes, which had numerous characters, so many special moves. But I understood where they were coming with the game, and that's something to be respected. Unfortunately, the game never saw a sequel, so it's one of those too bad, so sad type of things. Now, do I recommend the game? Sure. Because actually, this game is actually a cult favorite amongst um, not only so much Neo Geo users, but um, playing games in general. Because it's something, it's a departure from the normal um, fighting game fair. So, you can, you can check it out for the Neo CD. And check it out for um, the ADK compilation. It's just available in so many different formats. And like I said, it has that Neo Geo brutality where it's really freaking hard. But yeah, check it out if you have to buy emulation. You might like it. Like I said, it has some mixed feelings to it. Some people you know, think it's a really nice game. And I think it is too, it's just the problem with the game is that it's just a pain in the ass and the difficulty can be kind of brutal at that time, at the times. But other than that, yeah, like I said, check it out. You might really enjoy it. All right then, take care.